Yo, you there? Can you hear me? We're good. We're here. We're alive. Where do you want to start? What What do you focus on right now? What are you excited about right now? Right now, I mean, there's so much that I'm excited about right now. We actually are starting shooting a new TV show, a new reality TV show, my mom and I, uh, today, which I'm really pumped about. It's day one. We've been in development of this show for years. Uh, and so finally, like having today be the day is so exciting. Uh, so that should be really fun. I got a movie coming up later this year that I'm excited about. And obviously just making social media happen every single day. Also, this right, is really this is cool. Big... This creator week. This is awesome for, for creators. That's sort of like our version of a show. That's a, it's a big day for us. This is our first creator week. I love we wanted it. To, we're just a bunch of new things coming up. Um, one of them that we're, I'm particularly excited about is the sort of affiliate marketing work. So obviously a lot of people, a lot of creators get paid by brands. There's all sorts of different ways to do that. We want to make it easier to tag products for brands, have them see how that does and have you get paid on the backside if you drive some sales. So I think that's a, one way among many that we're hoping to help creators make a living. Um, it's incredible. That's one thing about Instagram is I feel like Instagram is really for creators and, and pro creators and you want the creators to be good and successful and enjoy the app that they're a part of. Yeah, absolutely. The other one was creator shops. We want to give um, creators the ability to have their own shops, even across accounts uh, more and more from, you know, the biggest creators like, you know, I don't know, Kylie Jenner's lip kits all the way to baby bands selling vinyl and t-shirts. There's all sorts of interesting ways for creators to uh, do merch, do merch. You sell the bows. Sell merch. You sell the bows. I got the bows. I got, I got everything. I got everything under the planet sun. You name it, I got it. And it's, it's, it's wild. Um, I got to ask you something. I saw a video of you on Instagram without a bow for the first time ever the other day. You have to, what's the I background, know. what's the story behind that? Well, you see, I've worn a bow, obviously, for the last 18 years of my life. I just had my 18th birthday. And it birthday. was right around my birthday that I realized, thank you, it was right around my birthday that I realized, you know, I kind of want to do my hair different today. And my mom actually asked me, because recently, earlier in the year, I, I came out to the world and to my family and essentially to myself, too, Um and so my mom asked me, she was like, was it harder to come out to me or tell me that you wanted to wear your hair different? And I was like, it surprisingly was harder to tell you that I wanted to wear my hair different. Um, and so I don't know. It just, it felt like the right time to do something different and to do something, you know, maybe a little bit more mature, a little bit more, like a little upgrade. Uh, but, but the bow is still a part of my life. I still love bows. I forever will. I mean, they're, they're, they're who I am. But I just, you know, maybe we'll wear it every day. And you said you said it was actually harder to talk to your mom about changing your hair than coming out on, onto her in some ways, which is wild. But you actually came it out in a, in a pretty amazing way on Instagram. Uh, sorry, I interrupted. I did. The the big reveal of it all was on Instagram, uh, which is which is funny because I I told my mom I was like, how I wanted it to happen was just like that was just natural and it happened better than I could have ever planned out. Cause my mom was like, yeah, I mean, just do it. W what are you going to do? Throw a party. And I was like, no, exactly that. Like, and I don't want it to be a whole big thing. Like I just want it to happen and be done. And it is what it is. And that's exactly what happened. I just posted a thing on my Instagram story and whoa, there you go. Yeah. Well, it was pretty amazing to see that such, I don't know. It's, it's brave to go in a big way like that. It can, it, it can be tricky for a lot of people. So pretty Thank inspiring. You. I'd love to understand. I mean, you've just been doing such amazing work and you've had such a meteoric rise. Two different things and you can just take it wherever you want to go. Uh, one of is course. advice for, for other creators, for people who work at Instagram, for me even. And then the other is what's your creative process like? One thing uh, for creators, the biggest thing that I've learned is make sure that you love it. Uh, I have done many of things in the last, I would say the last nine years I've been officially since I was nine, like actually trying to make a go of things. As long as you love it. I've done plenty of things where I didn't love it and they, they never seemed to work and they never seemed to follow through. But something with me that really connected to my audience is that 
everything was so genuine and they could see right through that. They could see that it was really me behind it. They could see that it was everything that I wanted it to be. And so it felt so natural and so, so organic. And it just made it so lovable, if that makes sense. I mean, being a creator can often be, it's, it's a lot, right? You, you have to constantly produce um, and move on to the next thing in a lot of ways. But, you, but you've also done, I think, an amazing job broadening what you do and how you do it. How far in advance do you think? Are you trying to think a year out, a couple years out, five years out, 10 years out? I mean, um, I, I'm planning my life right now for five years and for tomorrow. You know, it's, it's, it's simple stuff as to what do I want to post today? That I obviously don't plan three years in advance. But big things of right now planning, you know, what record label do I want to eventually be with? What agency do I want to head over to? What what do I want to do? Do I want to go into movies? Do I want to go into uh, uh, singing? Do I, like, where do I want to go from here? Obviously, that is, you have to plan that years in advance. Uh, but as far as social media, when I... I'm doing only social media and it's, there's no other big projects around me at the time. If I'm just doing social media, I am working like a mad woman on it and literally coming up with weeks worth of content in one night sitting. And I always have this joke that it's like, I just sit down and I'll come up with 50 ideas. And I, I truthfully, I do wish that I could have more time every single week to just plan that. So I think if you have the time to, the best thing you can do is plan it and keep it organized and just post and be good and be on top of it. And I think being consistent is really important too. You can't post for a week straight and then not post and then expect your same engagement. It just doesn't work. Yeah, no, I love that. And it actually kind of feels the same way on our side, which is the world's changing things there's more and more competition there's more and more new ideas and we have to just figure out how to keep trying to make instagram a bit better uh, we know that people get frustrated when it changes too much too fast but we also worry that if it stayed exactly the same there would be no dms there would be no stories we would still just be a feed of square photos and we'd be in a exactly much different place. i want to know what is like your number one priority with the app oh that's a great question. Um, it's always hard to pick one, which is why I think it's a good question. Um, of course. You can do a top three if my you want. Big, my biggest, well, I'll give you my, my number one fear, and then I'll give you a few priorities based on that sort of like concern. My number one concern is that the world changes around us and what we do becomes less relevant or even irrelevant. And so, Absolutely. you know, as, as the, the bigger you get, the slower you get. And then I, I worry we just you know, become an amazing thing of five years ago, but no longer amazing. Um, as a result, the things that I'm most focused on, there's two groups. The two groups I focus on most and I have the team focus on most are young people um, and creators. Young people because culture always goes to where the youth are. Um, and then creators because we're seeing this huge shift in power from institutions to individuals across pretty much every industry. I mean, think about sports. You know, athletes are more relevant than teams for the first time. You know, think yeah. about journalism, right? You know, we've got journalists and editors building up their own brands separate from the publications that they work on. And creators are at the forefront of that. Like, they're a way to see the world through the eyes of people you look up to or you aspire to be like. And so Absolutely. I just think we need to do more to lean in there. Uh, so those are the two groups I focus the most on. But Jojo, I just want to say huge, huge thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're an amazing thank amount of you. energy. You're an inspiration to all of us here at Instagram. I really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And welcome to Creator Week, everybody. <laughs>